Here I have some new beginner drones from Beta FPV in their Cetus line. This is the Cetus Lite, and this is the Cetus Lite FPV. Both of these drones come as a kit with everything you need to get into flying drones, whether you want to fly FPV, or if you want something small and safe to just fly around your house. So, the Cetus Lite comes in two versions. One is an FPV version, which is this one, and the other one is basically the same exact drone, just without an FPV camera. You have the cutout right here to add one, and I'm hoping that Beta FPV will offer this in the future as just an upgrade kit, um, but internally, these two drones are the exact same. One of the main things that I want to mention about this kit is that unlike the original Cetus, this drone doesn't have manual or sport mode. It has faster flying modes, but you won't be able to get out of normal mode. And normal mode is basically like flying in angle mode if you're familiar with Betaflight. Basically when you're flying, the drone will always level itself out. The FPV kit is selling for $120 and that's the kit that comes with the goggles and the FPV camera. The base version of the drone without the FPV gear is selling for only $60. So with the FPV version, you get the drone, a set of VR02 goggles, the Light Radio 1 transmitter, two 300 milliamp 1S LiPos for the drone, as well as a charger for the batteries, a USB-C charger cable, some spare stick ends for the controller, and you also get a bag with some spare props. There's a screwdriver, a USB port that connects to the drone, and there's even some spare motors in there. If you were to get this kit as the Cetus Lite without the FPV camera, obviously you're not gonna be getting these goggles. Otherwise, everything else you should get. So to quickly go over what's in this drone, I'm actually gonna disassemble the non-FPV version that I have here, um, just so that I can reference the board that's inside. So this is the all-in-one board that's on this Cetus Lite. Again, this board is the exact same board that's on the FPV version. This is the Cetus FC V3. On the bottom here, we have the BT 2.0 connector that's for the LiPos. At the base of the power cable, we have this little plug. This plug connects to the included USB port and that's how you will connect it to a computer if you have to. I don't really see any reason why you'd ever have to connect it to your computer, but this is where you would connect it if you had to. These four plugs right here are what the motors were plugged into. So if you do have to replace a motor, it's very easy. Towards the front here, you have a little boot or bind button and right next to it, this is the antenna for the receiver. So don't cut that off. If this gets removed, you're gonna wanna replace it. Otherwise you're probably gonna get a bad radio signal. The receiver that's built into this board operates on the FR Sky D8 protocol. So you can bind it to a controller like these. So we'll flip the board over and there's really not much else to look at under here. Uh, you actually have a couple pads over on this side where you could solder maybe an additional receiver to. So you have a ground voltage TX and RX. So you could use this, I'm sure for something. And then this plug right here is actually what connects to the VTX and the camera on the FPV version. Obviously, if you have the non FPV version, there shouldn't be anything plugged into this port. On the FPV version, they've put the C02 micro FPV camera and a small 25 milliwatt VTX in the drone. The camera on this frame is fixed at 25 degrees, which feels a little high for flying indoors, but it is usable. This all-in-one camera VTX unit secures to the top part of the frame, so this white shell, and then it just plugs into this port on the top of the flight control. The motors that are on here, actually, the motors on the Cetus Light are brushed 716, uh, 19,000 kV motors. The propellers that they include are 31 millimeter four blade props with an eight millimeter shaft. If you're new to drones and you end up having to repair one of these motors, just pay attention to the color of the wire going to the flight controller. You'll see that these two motors are black and white, whereas these two motors are red and blue. When you're replacing the motor, make sure you replace it with a motor that has the same color wires. The FPV goggles that are included with the FPV version of this kit are the VR02 goggles. These goggles don't offer a DVR option to record footage, but they do offer a built-in battery and built-in antennas, which is pretty nice. Um, these are the same goggles that Beta FPV has been including with quite a few of their drone kits, and they work pretty good. Over on this side, you have the power switch right here, and then right next to it, you have a USB-C port to charge the goggles. Right here is how you will change the channel and find the channel that your drone is on. And finally, the controller. This is the controller that's included with both kits. Um, this is the Light Radio 1 transmitter. This has an internal CC2500 
2.4 gigahertz system that will be compatible with FR Sky D16 and D8 protocols. So technically you could use this controller with something like an XM Plus if you wanted. This controller easily binds to the Cetus Pro as well. Um, so if you decide you wanna to upgrade to a similar faster drone, you can use this controller with it. This is the Cetus Pro and this is very similar to the Cetus Lite. It's a little bit bigger and a little bit faster. You can do more freestyle kind of tricks with this. This is more aimed towards beginners but size wise, you can see they're very similar in design and uh, this one's just a little bit smaller. Another great thing about this controller is that you can use it with simulators. So on the bottom here, you have a USB-C port and using the cable that they included in the box, you can actually hook this up to your computer and you can play simulators with this controller. All right, let's go see how these things fly. When I'm recording this one, I'm gonna be recording the DVR footage on my Orcas. Again, you unfortunately can't record DVR on the goggles that are included with this kit. Um, so I'm gonna be recording it through my Orcas. And then when I'm flying this one, I'm just gonna put my GoPro on my chest and I can kind of just show you guys what I'm doing. Got a fully charged battery on the bottom here. All you gotta do is just plug it in. And I'm gonna turn the controller on. You have the on off switch right here. And now, and now to connect the controller with the drone, all you gotta do is press down on that. You'll get a blue light on both of them, and now they're bound up. So on the top of the controller, you have four switches. Um, SA is what you're gonna use to arm the drone. SB is a level calibrator, so it'll just kinda level itself out. If you notice that the drone's drifting, all you gotta do is press that button and it'll level itself out. SC is uh, speed modes. So you have slow and fast, so I'll show you guys how that works. And then SD is actually a button that controls the video transmitter signal. So on this drone, SD won't do anything, but if you're using the FPV version, when you have the goggles linked up to it, you can click this and it'll actually change the channel. So we'll launch the drone, SA, and then throttle up. Now the drone has a barometer on board, so it's gonna try and level itself out, and it does an okay job with it. Sometimes it'll go up to the ceiling, um, but for the most part, it's pretty good. It's definitely definitely good for a beginner. So this is slow mode right here. And it's not really fast at all. So to change the so to change the speed, all you gotta do is click the SC button, and now you're in fast mode. And it's pretty quick. And something nice about this drone, and I know that Beta FPV has been doing this on a lot of their uh, Cetus beginner line drones, when you crash it into a wall, it immediately disarms. So it's not gonna keep spinning and spin out of control on you. And now you take it, all you gotta do is disarm the uh, arming switch, and then click it again. The drone should arm, and then throttle up. And you're good. Look at that. So yeah, pretty simple drone to use. Um, the FPV version is gonna fly just like this. You just have an FPV camera on board. But yeah, pretty nice, I like it.
All right, guys, final thoughts. The drone's overall very similar to the current Cetus kit, except it's more affordable, and it's definitely aimed more so at beginners. I think it's nice that Beta FPV has two versions of the drone, one with and one without the camera. I really hope that they end up selling a little upgrade kit that's the all-in-one camera that's in this drone with a set of goggles just as like an upgrade for anyone that has the base version. It's a very easy upgrade. You take the canopy off and then you just plug it in. So hopefully that's something they do. Um, I suggested it to them, so we'll see. These two drones are really geared towards kids or someone that's just getting into drones or is just looking for something small to fly around the house. It's definitely a solid beginner, all-in-one option that just includes everything that you need. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave the video a like, and if you have any questions about the Cetus light kits, leave a comment down below.